Welcome to the CAF subject Business Management and Behavioral Studies. In this video, we shall discuss some further topics relating to management concepts. Management concepts constitute 25% of the ICAP syllabus grid. In this video, we will discuss modern management theories of the following theorists 1. Peter Drucker, 2. Rosabeth Moss Cantor, 3. Henry Mintzberg, 4. William Auchi, 5. McGregor, and 6. Management Science Approach. In the human side of enterprise 1960, Douglas McGregor suggested that there are two different approaches to managing and motivating people. McGregor called the two management approaches Theory X and Theory Y. Theory X approach is an authoritarian style where the manager instructs his employees and tells them what to do. The Theory X approach is based on the following views about people at work. Number one, the average person dislikes and avoids work. Number two, individuals are forced to work towards organizations' objectives with threats of punishment for not working properly. Three, persons prefer to be directed, want to, to avoid responsibility, have no ambitions, and want security more than anything else. Theory Y approach is a participative management style. The manager encourages his employees to participate in decision making. The Theory Y approach is based on the following views about people at work. Number one, putting effort into work is as natural as play. Number two, individuals will apply self-direction and self-control to work towards organization's objectives without the need for constant supervision or threats of punishment. Number three, the strength of the individual's commitment to organization's objectives is related to the associated rewards. Number four, individuals usually accept and then take responsibility. Number five, at work, intellectual potential of average person is partly utilized. Testing in ICAP exams, Spring 15, Mark 6, Question number 3b. Douglas McGregor has presented two different approaches, viz Theory X and Theory Y, about managing workers in organizational environments. State the salient features of Theory X and Theory Y, which must be kept in perspective by managers for achievement of optimal performance levels from workers. Answer suggested by ICAP. You can see that ICAP discusses in Theory X, workers dislike work and avoid it. Workers are threatened with punishment to achieve organizational objectives. Workers prefer to be directed. And workers lack ambition and want security more than anything else. In Theory Y, putting effort into work is as natural as play. Workers exercise, apply self-direction and self-control to work. Workers usually accept and then take responsibility. At work, intellectual potential of workers is partly utilized. McGregor suggested that a Theory Y approach is not always possible or advisable as Theory Y is difficult to put into practice in a factory environment. There will be some situations when the manager must exercise his authority because it is the only way of getting results. Management Science Approach Operations Research Operations research is a type of decision-making and problem-solving methodology that uses analytical techniques to help ultimately make better decisions. In operational research, we will discuss the following techniques. 1. Network analysis 2. Game theory 3. Queuing theory 4. Simulation 5. Mathematical logic 6. Mathematical optimization 7. Mathematical modeling Number 1. Network analysis this involves identifying different components of project, how long a component will take to complete, the earliest and latest start and finish times of each component, and order in which components can be completed. Key objective of network analysis is to identify the critical path that represents the shortest potential duration of the project. Network analysis can be used as a foundation for planning resources in a cost-effective manner and identifying where bottlenecks and slack exist. Testing in ICAP exams, Spring 16, Marks 4, Question number 10b. 
briefly describe the salient features of network analysis. Answers suggested by ICAP. You can see that ICAP discussed all the points that we presented, such as identifying different components of project, how long component will take to complete, earliest and latest start and finish times of each component, and order in which components can be completed. Number two, game theory. This involves mathematical models of conflict and cooperation to help make strategic decisions. There are two styles of game theory, namely zero-sum game where one person's game gain is another's loss. This is frequently used by military strategists. Many-person games, which is used to study the economic behavior and under which for the greater good it pays for the parties to cooperate. Number three, queuing theory. This describes using mathematical methods for analyzing and predicting delays and congestions of waiting and queuing. The objective is to identify ways to improve the process to make it quicker. For example, with traffic flow, processing shipping orders, reducing average time per call, and improving flow through shops, factories, and hospitals. Number four, simulation. Simulation involves building a model that represents a real system then conducting experiments on the model. It is now found everywhere, including computer systems, for example, database management and networks, manufacturing, example, material handling, government, for example, traffic control, businesses, for example, cash flow analysis. Number five, mathematical logic. It is integral to the most of the other techniques and used to reflect the relationships between various components, variables, and parameters within something that is being modeled. Number six, mathematical optimization. It is used to select the optimal solution from set of available alternatives. Number seven, mathematical modeling. It is a way of describing a system using mathematical concepts and language. Defining a system using mathematical modeling allows the researcher to better understand the content and effect of different components and make predictions about behavior. Operations research in practice. In practice, operations research is used by management to either maximize something, for example, profit, yield, utilization, or performance. Minimize something, for example, loss, cost, or risk. Some other examples are critical path analysis for project planning, routing, for example, for transport or people, supply chain management, scheduling, and determining optimal prices.